Welcome back to Return of the Obra Dinn. Last episode we were looking at how some people died on the upper deck. Uh, I think the last person we looked at was this one. The one that got struck by lightning up there in the rigging. Then fell down here. I don't know if they fell to their death or if they were already dead and then just landed here. Who knows? It doesn't really matter. Anyway, there's two bodies here that we need to see how they died. Oh. My cat is trying to like chew and rub my microphone and my mic stand. I'll try to ignore them. <laughs> William Hoskoot, first mate. Bunch of people turning this thing. What uh, What does this do? Is this for like winding or like lifting heavy things? Is it connected to anything? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yes. Oh, it just shot out some spikes. That thing in the net. Let's look at the dialogue again. Lift this out and take it below. And then the person who died is the one speaking here, speaking, I think, Chinese. This is your fault. Lift this out and take it below. What the hell is going on? What do you know about these things? About the chest and your dead friends. Something in Chinese. What are these monsters? Where are they from? You must tell us everything. The person who died, this is your fault. Someone else, the shell must be protected. We will all die. And then I think this was one of the Chinese people uh, translating into English for the others, saying he talk about a shell, very dangerous. Someone said shell, what shell? And then all hell broke loose. So it's shooting out spikes. Ooh, they... They got stabbed as well, because I see blood coming out of them, too. At first I thought that... At first I thought that this person behind was, like, stabbing this person with a spear or something. But no, that's... They were just using them as a... I don't know if they're using them as a shield or if they just grabbed him right after they started to fall. But yeah, they were killed by that monster. Not by the person behind him. Is this... not you. Eh, no, you. You! Ah, I thought it was this person. No, this one. And this... The one talking is one of the guards of the Formosan royalty. And what did they say? This is your fault. Who are they talking to? I don't know. But they also said something about a chest. That thing? That's the chest? I got the feeling that they thought the creature or the chest or something about this whole situation is cursed or something like that. Goat's doing all right. Good. I just nearly dodged it at the bosun, right? Alfred Clestel, yep. You, for the millionth time. I 
they always seem to be... They always seem to be in a position of like... Like a manager over the seaman. I want to look at the crew list again. Is there like a seaman manager? <laughs> I don't think that's a thing. There's just a whole bunch of topmen and seamen. The only thing that even vaguely sounds like they could be somebody who would manage the seamen would be a midshipman, but they're an officer in training, usually of privileged status. I don't think that fits this person. I don't think they'd be wearing such plain clothes if they were an officer in training. I think they're just a seaman, probably, or maybe a topman. I just don't know who. Ooh. A lot of people got real lucky here, and one person got really unlucky. This person again. Is this the captain? Yeah, Robert Woodrow. Doctor? Yeah, Henry Evans. Is there a difference between a doctor and a surgeon? In this case, in this time period? I don't... I don't really think so, because it wouldn't make any sense to have somebody who literally only does surgeries and doesn't do any other sort of medicine. That wouldn't make any sense. It's kind of interesting that they're called a surgeon and not a doctor. Hmm. Don't know who you are. Oh, there's a whole bunch of dead bodies here. Hold on, they mentioned your, um, your dead friends, right? What do you know about these things, about the chest and your dead friends? Yeah, so these must be the dead friends. Are these... <sighs> Remember a while ago, there were some people that tried to escape on a boat, on a small boat, somewhere uh, in the back of this boat back there, and there was a whole, there was a whole scuffle about that, and the captain was like shooting their gun in the air to try to make people stop fighting, somebody died there. I think this might be those people, maybe wherever they went, they came back dead, <laughs> were found dead, I don't know. Maybe they, like, maybe they came from this ship and they also, those three dead people, when they weren't dead, brought back, um, a chest with them, perhaps. Because you, you are... Oh! You're them. Oh, I didn't expect that. I, I thought they were either Miss Jane Bird or Abigail. Or Emily, or not Abigail, um... Emily Jackson or Miss Jane Bird. But no, it's you. I should be able to identify you. You would have a, probably have a feminine name. But I think they're Chinese names, and I don't know if I can identify a feminine name in Chinese necessarily. Let's see. Mm, they're just a passenger. And they're Formosan and royalty, so it's one of these four people. Boonlon... Unlon Lim? Lin? Itbang Sia? I'm probably totally mispronouncing that. Yeah, I, I have no idea which of those is a feminine name. Let me research it. Okay, I figured out who has the feminine name. Kind of through a spoiler, accidentally. Very, very minor, because I would have figured it out in just a second anyway. But it turns out that if you Google these names, Itbang or Bunlan, even just the first names, not including the last ones, all of the top results are for this game specifically. And right at the top is a picture from, I think, a, a wiki that has a picture of who this person is in that crew picture. In other words, it spoils the hell out of it. So it's Boon Lon, but note for the future, be very careful about Googling the names in here. Depends how unique they are, I guess, right? Like, I'm sure if you Google Henry... If you Google Henry Evans, maybe you'll get this game. If you Google just Henry, I'm sure you'll be fine. But I guess Boon Lon is less common. Anyway, this person is Boon Lon. That's interesting. The game doesn't think I should be able to figure out who this is. It's blurry. 
it, I feel like it's pretty easy to guess who that is. I'll try anyway. Oh, whoops. Boonlon. And I feel like this holds a clue to how they died looking at them here. Because it looks like they have claw marks on their face. Like they got just clawed. I think that might be how they died. But I can't mark a cause of death yet because I haven't found their body. Probably all three of these people are the next thing I'm going to... The next bodies I'm going to find. I wonder if the others died the same way. Oh god, I just realized. They had their entire hand chewed off. The bone's still there. Oh my god. What about you? No obvious wounds. Oh, you are the second mate. Edward... Nichols. You're the main one. Just gonna assume they're husband and wife. That's the husband, that's the wife. This is one of the guards. Is the other guard here? You're not one of the guards, no. Uh, yeah, I don't know where the other guard is. John Naples. Third mate. Yeah, give me that one back there. You again. I think that's it. I just wrote down a quick note that I think this person was clawed to death. Because some details like that and that tattoo I found on somebody a while ago and stuff like that, the game doesn't make any sort of note of, so I think it would be wise for me to make notes of that sort of stuff. Ah, not all three at the same time, just this one specifically. is cold-blooded. Oh, hey, am I on the... I'm walking on the water. That's interesting. That's never happened before. Oh, the water looks so cool, being represented with just a bunch of dots. So, yes, I think these are the people that escaped on, I guess, these boats. There's a couple of them. You are a piece of shit. Oh, you're this person. That's the same one that got spiked to death, right? Just a little bit later. So your cause of death is obvious. Um, oh. Oh, right. Right, that... For some reason, I thought maybe there was a different... Uh, there were different creatures. Um... The creature that the cook was killed by when the tail whacked him, and the creature riding the crabs, I thought perhaps those were different creatures, but they're not. 
because the things riding the crabs would shoot out spikes, and these things shoot out spikes, and also have heads and look humanoid. So who's the second mate? So the second mate escaped with them off on the boat. Or it's called a calling, so maybe it's not so much an escape. I mean, they came back. Maybe it's more of a something was calling to them, and they felt they needed to get it. And then they were cursed. Although it seemed like the boat was cursed from the start. But yeah, they're bringing one of these creatures back with them. And there's one of the bodies that we saw. The one with their hand gnawed off, yeah. There's the chest. Strange and huge thing. There's the other body. Poonlon. Another one of the creatures. Ooh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The shell. They talked about the shell in another memory. Also, there's a special effect kind of coming out of it. Like it's a like it's a mesmerizing thing. Also, I'm pretty sure we have the same mesmerizing flash on the boat in the real world outside of a memory. Remember? There's a weird flashing thing and I was always wondering what that was. I think it's this. But I mean, where is it? There's no boats just like out there on the sea that we can see. Is a flashing from the bottom of the ocean? <laughs> uh, I doubt it. It's probably pretty deep. I don't know, but there's a definite connection between this and the thing that we see out in this direction, as a matter of fact. Outside of the memory. So, two creatures here and a shell. One creature over there. One body. Another body, and then a fresh body. I think this is the person that said don't shoot. Fourth mate, John Davies. Okay. Cause of death. Easy. They were shot by a gun. I don't know the name of the person who killed him. It's one of three people, but I'm not sure which one. Wait a minute. Um, if they're married, they might have the same last name or something. Right? Let's check the manifest. Um... No. Sia. Lean. Lean. Tan. Lao. Nah. Wait a minute. How is this going to work? Because usually it takes me to where the body is. Oh, but it was moved post-mortem to here. I was wondering, like, is it going to take me to walk out to the water? Yep, look at that. That's the freaking shell, I think. So, cause of death, having your arm not off? Do they get that specific? Oh, 
手枪。Hey, the chest is open. What's coming out of it? Is that fire? Or something? Looks like fire to me. Are they on fire? You're the one who was later shot, so you survived this attack. Actually, I don't know if this is an attack. I think they might just be dragging the body into the boat. sentence from them. Are you there, Miss Leem? Hmm. The fact that they don't share a common name and they said Miss Leem. Miss is usually used to mean somebody who isn't married. So, yeah, they're not married. Miss. Who would you call Miss? Like, I don't think you call your own daughter Miss, either. That feels... That sounds weird, so maybe they're just... A friend? I guess? So these creatures definitely seem to be... Some sort of... Horrific mermaid. Very humanoid. Right, they have a humanoid upper body and then... Classic fin type thing, like mo like their body transforms into a sausage <laughs> near the bottom. No, indis no distinct legs. Turns into a fin. Looks like they have. It looks like they have breasts. Actually, a lot of breasts. All right, they have like two in the normal place for humans, but then they also have four more down here. That's a lot of titties. Most interesting thing here for me is what is going on in that box? I wonder if the shell was in there. That kind of looks like a holding place for a shell, doesn't it? That drawer? Where is the shell, though? If that's a holding place for the shell, and there's no shell in it as far as I can tell, then where's the shell? It should be making that bright flashing kind of thing, right? Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's down there. Right around that mermaid's shoulder.
Whoa, it's weird when I'm inside of it. So second mate, they're cowering. Oh, who's that? I haven't seen you before. So somewhere between here and the further memory that we've seen, the the later memory, this person disappears. I have it. Hold on. Yeah, you're this person. The reaching in there. It doesn't seem like fire. Something else, just some sort of energy. What is in there? What am I looking at? I see some like round objects in there on the top. Some rings. Almost looks like a universe in there. Sort of like rings. Of like asteroid belts and what have you. And then like a bunch of planets going around. Probably not what it is, but sort of looks like that. I have it. And then it seems like after they opened it, I think the energy came from here and went out to the mermaids. Because it looks like that's what killed them. It looks like it's obliterating them, pretty much. Kill that one. Looks like it killed that one. And then I guess there's probably one underwater here. Ooh, hello. An ore. I'm happy that I found it, but I don't think it actually helps me solve anything. Right, we have some causes of death. Actually, there's a lot of bodies here. You died by getting speared. I don't know who the hell you are, but I know how you died. Oh wait, I can't assign a cause of death. Right? Yeah. I could write that down for each of these people, but I think I can remember lots of people died out on the boats with the mermaids. You two were speared. Probably haven't found your body. Nope. You didn't die. So I think... Boonlon? Boonlon? Yeah, Boonlon. I think they just died from... Blood loss from the wounds that they had gotten previously. The, um... The clawed wounds. Clawing wounds, I guess. So there's a shell there. There's a shining shell. I think there's one on this one, too. Wasn't there? Oh. Never mind. Yeah, there isn't. I'm wondering if, like, each mermaid has a shell. Doesn't seem like it. I was wondering if the energy was attracted to the shell. As far as I can tell, no, but I can't be sure the others don't have a shell. It might be underwater or something. Anything else? So right, you? No, no. You're cowering. I think that's it. Oh, some more ores. 